Jack, I just wonder, when a guy comes to a new team, sometimes there's a fit and sometimes it's awkward. Even viewing from afar, it's been obvious you have been a fit with the Titans. Why has it worked so well in year one for you? I think that comes down to a lot of the qualities, you know, each player possesses. You know, I think in this system, they, they value someone who can play multiple positions and, you know, someone who can work hard, someone who can kind of pick up a defense quickly. And, um, you know, I had experience working with uh, Coach Terrell Williams, the defensive line coach before. So I just think, you know, all of those factors help me kind of fit into the team. And, uh, you know, I get along well with everybody on the team. So I feel honored to be a part of it. You came to the game of football late. People know your backstory. You moved to the United States from yeah. London when you were 17. So 15 years later, did you ever dream that you would have had this kind of NFL career? Man, honestly not. You know, I came over to the States originally to play basketball. You know, it's crazy where life takes you, you know. I think that if you're ever, you know, if you ever have dreams or goals or aspirations, then, you know, if you put everything you have into that goal, then sometimes you may not achieve that goal, you may not reach it, but it may help steer you in a direction that leads to different success. And I think that that was the case. Coming over, when I came over, I had such a focus on playing basketball, but that didn't work out. But I think my focus carried over to playing uh, American football. From that point forward, I was able to learn quickly and I always felt like I had to play catch up. I feel like I've been doing that my whole career. And so it's given me the ability to kind of learn things quickly, you know, try and help that translate onto the field. What was, as you got into American football, what was the hardest part of the game for you to grasp? What took you the longest? I think, honestly, I think it was the, the speed of the game. The game seemed to move so fast. And when I started to kind of, the more I played, the more it slowed down. But the faster I played, the more the game slowed down. And I think that that was a key for me to be able to kind of go to the next level. I think that that took time for me to translate into in college. And then even when I got to the NFL, it's another jump, maybe even a bigger jump in the speed of the game. All right, so my partner, Amy Wells, is the biggest Harry Potter fan in the yeah. world. So I have to ask you, you went to school with Daniel Radcliffe, who we all know as Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, so is there a Daniel Radcliffe story? Were you pals? Was he a good basketball player? Did you hang out? Give me something for Amy about Daniel Radcliffe. To be honest, at the time, truthfully, I didn't, I hadn't read Harry Potter at the time. I hadn't read any of the Harry Potter stories. I wasn't too familiar with how, you know, how popular it was. And it was just as it was coming out. So he was rarely at school because he was always filming. I mean, I guess the only story I truly have, and it's part of my claim to fame is that like, when I first saw him, he recognized me. Like he said my name in school before I said his, like he was like, oh, you're JJ, what's up? Like that's everybody used to call me JJ back in, in London. Everybody still calls me that. But he would say, oh, what's up, you're JJ, like that. And I was like, oh yeah, what's up, you're Daniel. But, you know, he said my name first. Well, now, you know, obviously it's a little bit different. Now he's on Hollywood billboards and stuff. <laughs> but that's about all I got, man. I, the, you know, it's crazy how things turn out. But, um, yeah, he was a pretty quiet guy. Well, Jack Crawford, yeah. thank you for, so much for the time. And, obviously, yeah. thanks for the super job you've been doing for the Titans on the yeah, defensive line this year. Appreciate you being our Nissan Insider this week. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.